Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Shining Lugia Malamar deck. Yes, you heard right. This is a Shining Lugia deck, a card that no one really would have expected made top 30 at NAIC this past weekend. We're going to be taking a look at the deck and uh, trying it out on PDCGO. Before we get into the video, I do want to say this. If you guys still want to do post-rotation deck battles for post-rotation videos, definitely make sure you guys message me in-game or something. Um, because I'm still down to do them, right? You know. So basically, again, you have to make a post-rotation deck that's like pre-Celestial um, Storm. It's not too hard. There's still decks you can do it with, and we can do a post-rotation battle. Um, just you know, some more extra content. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's take a look at the deck. And of course, it's Malamar Shining Lugia, as stated before. So this is a very funny deck, um, but it's actually pretty interesting. So Shining Lugia, it's not that bad if you look at it. So Shining Lugia. It's a 130 HP basic Pokemon. Now, 130 HP is a good amount of HP to have. It's also resistant to fighting, which is a good resistance to have. Baby Buzzwool itself can also struggle with the one-shot Lugia. Um, now, 130 HP is great. You already know the magic number Zoar can only hit on a basic is on a non-GX and a basic is 120 damage. So it won't even one-shot Lugia. And Lugia's got two attacks that are both kind of good. Um, for a DCE and a Cullis, you do 60. If your post active has an ability, it does 120 damage. So you could do 120 on a Lycanroc, a Zoark GX, and on a Donwings, on a Necrozma GX. And you one shot, like stuff like Garbotoxin. So, you know, Argent Wing is pretty good. And you also have Arrow Force, which, you know, if, there's not a, if it doesn't have a uh, ability, you can do Arrow Force, which does a nice solid 130 damage. So that's the Shining Lugia. And since it's a colorless type, um, the person who got top 30 decided to run it with Malamar. And of course, Malamar is able to use Sight Recharge. It's probably one of the more hyped up decks to come into this tournament. A lot of people were expecting Malamar to win. Um, but Malamar did take top 4, and um, you know, it is still a very powerful deck. But yes, the deck plays Malamar. As a way, you can probably use Malamar to recharge your guy. Um, Lugia. There's actually a lot of interesting psychic attackers in here. There's no Dawn Wings. You may know it. But I'm um, looking at the top 30 list right now, Limitless. And yeah, it was piloted by. The deck was piloted by Nick Cap Capo Bianco. So, shout out to you. And um, yeah. So, we're going to take a look at the other Pokemon. And again, there's no Dawn Wings in this deck. So, the other Pokemon um, is Mewtwo GX. Mewtwo GX actually kind of does synergy with DCE. But um, it also has Psy Strike. One of the best things about Mewtwo is that it can one-shot a Lunala, a Dawnwing, sorry. Um, if the Dawnwings use Moon's Eclipse, um, right, you can't damage it. But because of Mewtwo's effect of Psy Strike, you can go straight through the Dawnwings. So that's kind of the reason behind Mewtwo GX. And there are two of them. You can also use Full Burst. As you can see, it states it does 30 times the total amount of energy. So it's the total amount of any energy. So it counts as DC. DC counts as 60 more damage for Full Burst. And that can help you a lot against Buzzwool. The deck also plays one Mimikyu. Um, Copycat is just a really good attack with Malamar. And the deck plays one Marshadow. This is another good way to deal with Zoark GX. You can actually use Shadow Hunt on Shiny Lugia and one shot a Zoark GX. So that's very powerful. And the deck plays a 4 3 Malamar line. There's three Lele's in this list. Um, but a little excessive, I think. You could still obviously use Lele with Malamar and DCE and, you know, ramp up a lot of damage, I guess. But that's a lot of uh, Lele's to play in this deck. Um, and those are all the Pokemon. So yeah, no Dawn Wings, no Necrozmas. Not even in the, there's not even the baby Hoopa that was seeing a lot of play this weekend. Um, so it's an interesting um, attacker lineup. And we're going to the items now. We got two field blowers to be able to get rid of any tools. We got four mysterious treasures. Of course, treasure is really good with psychic Pokemon. One Professor's Letter. One of the more um, interesting cards Malamar has been starting to play a lot more now is Professor's Letter. Because you can letter with like a Ultra Ball or a Sycamore and get easy two psychics in your discard pile for Malamar. We do play one stretcher in this list also to be able to get your Pokemon back. There's three Ultra Balls since well, we already played the, the four treasures, so you can kind of go four treasure for three Ultra Ball. One Bridget to be able to fill your bench up turn one. We got two Cynthia's for draw. The deck plays four Guzmas. There's no Dawn Wings, so I guess Guzma's a great replacement for that, and also it's just a good card in general. We got three ends in this list, and there's four Sycamores in this list also for draw support. And there's also three Fighting Fury Balls. Fighting Fury Balls is pretty good with uh, Lugia. It gives it 170 HP. It's good with Marshadow, and it's also. Pretty nice with Mewtwo GX, and even Mimikyu to a degree, so it's, it can work with a lot of attackers. Um, especially against decks like Buzzwool that don't really play Field Blower, it's hard for them to deal with this Fighting Fury Belt. 
We got three float stones in this deck also for free retreat, four DCEs, and eight basic psychic energies. And this is the top 30 Shining Lugia Malamar deck. It's a very interesting list. It's a very interesting idea. Something that we've never seen before being used is Shining Lugia. And we're going to try it out today on PGC Joe, see if it's any good, and we'll see how this deck was played and how it got top 30 in just a minute with some matches. So, see you guys in just a second. I right, guess go find some games with our Lugia Malamar deck. See it in action, and uh, let's see what this deck is all about. All right, here we go. First game. It looks like it's against Buzzwool, which is awesome. Obviously, we want to play against Buzzwool. We have a lot of psychic support. This should be a good game. Lycanroc again might be the only big threat, but hopefully we are okay to potentially win the game. Um, so we're gonna start with Lugia and Inke, um, which is fine. We actually have a pretty strong hand here. We don't need to do Bridget, which is good. We can just Sycamore. We can get two Inkays down while we're at it, too. My opponent does open with Rock Rock. They are going first, which is unfortunate. This means they're going to be able to get a better start. Ooh, they're actually doing Bridget. Are they not playing Buzzwool? Because Buzzwool does not play Bridget. They are playing... Okay, very, very interesting idea. Never seen uh, Bridget and Buzzwool before. Um, now, Buzzwool might be a little hard to deal with, you know. Because, yeah, okay, Jack Punch is going to do less damage. Potentially, Knuckle Impact may not even knock us out with a Fighting Fear Belt on, but he doesn't have an ability, so it doesn't count. Ooh, wow. Couldn't have drawn better. So, I'm probably going to have to burn this float. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I think it's fine. We're going to have to get rid of a float stone. But, I can always grab a Psychic Attack. And I might even just grab something small like Mimikyu. I'd grab Mewtwo. But we could we could easily see like a knockout, so I'm gonna avoid that. We'll Ultra Ball for Lele, and wow, we have two Lele's Brads. That is pretty brutal. Yeah, we are filling our bench up for Dangerous Rogue. Very unfortunate, but it's, when you play against Lycanroc, you know you either avoid the Dangerous Rogue or you kind of just accept it. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna accept it because whatever. We'll, we'll Sycamore. Hopefully, we can get some energies here. That'd be awesome. There's a Bell. I mean, judging from that Bridget, he's probably playing Mysterious Treasure or not Mysterious Treasure. He's probably running, um, what's his face? You know, I can't remember the name right for some reason. Field Blower. He'll be back to play Field Blower, but you never know. I'm going to test DC. I doubt he's playing Enhanced Hammer. I doubt he's going to end me, but at the same time, I kind of want to play the belt. I think I'm going to do it. YOLO. Um, I'm going to hold this treasure for next turn so we can get double Malamar and everything's good. Alright, let's see what he does. Hopefully we can knock out a Rocker up this turn. There's Guzma on an NK. Doesn't actually knock it out though, unless he has a. Oh yeah, he has to get a Reggie Rock to knock me out. Okay. So this is gonna be an interesting way to go about things. We drew a DCE, which is fine. So I can just do this. I can go Malamar. I don't know, actually. Never mind, I don't want to go Malamar on a Pokemon heavily damaged. Either way, I couldn't do that. I threw myself over. We'll attach the D. Oh no, I just screwed that up. Oh. <gasps> Guys, I screwed that up so hard. No, why did I do that? I meant to put the. Oh. I meant to put the DC on the NK and then retreat it and then go into. Wow. Okay, we're gonna have to really hope we get a float stone here. Oh, that was that was that was an awesome play, buddy. Um, probably have to grab another NK. I mean, we can always charge up Mimikyu. I'm gonna have to Cynthia. Can we get a Floatstone, though? We do. Awesome. We got him. Might as well build up Mimikyu. You'll probably knock me out next turn with Absorption and something. I don't know, maybe... I mean, if he does Absorption, maybe I don't do Copycat. Oh, we can't even copy the chips down. Alright, we'll see. We'll Arrow Force him for 140. We can always finish him off with Lele, which I guess is fine. Okay, a bit of a dumb misplay there with the energy. It's all good. We were able to find our float, but I don't think NK will survive, but whatever. Okay, my opponent will Cynthia. As long as... I mean, we'll see what they do here. I'm kind of worried that they're going to build up a dangerous rogue, especially if I do choose to knock him out with Lele here. No, he's just going to absorption my Lugia and knock it out. Which is fine. We'll knock him out with Tapu Lele. And he probably won't be able to respond with a KO, which is pretty good. Oh, we do have Mewtwo. We have Guzma. Guzma's gonna be big for next turn. So we'll retreat. I could put the belt on now. Does it even matter to have a Fighting Fear belt on the active Lele? 
Probably not. I think I just hold it. I think I just energy drive knock him out. Probably looking for another Lugia. See what we get off our two prizes. We do have two Lele's prized. Okay, we got a DC. We got an Ultra Ball, which is awesome. My opponent's actually going to bring out Buzzwool. Probably going to take a Jet Punch knockout on my Inkay. If he does that, we might we might be able to actually knock him out with Malamar. I don't know. We don't have enough energy. Oh, yeah, he has Beast Ring. Okay. Well, he still has a Knuckle Impact me, which means I can still copycat him. So it's still a bad idea for my opponent to knock out my Lele. But if he does knock it out, Lele's going to put pressure on him. Oh, yeah, he already has Dangerous Rogue, too. We don't got to worry about that. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm feeling a little bit better right now. I totally forgot that he already used Absorption. Whatever. It's all good, though. We'll see if he does take a knockout with Knuckle Impact. You could Jet Punch me for 50 and knock out the Inkay. You know, it's whatever. We'll see what he does. Oh, no, yeah, he, well, he did attach to the Rock Rock, so maybe he's going to do the Jet Punch play. I don't think that's really even a good play. Now, if I can draw a, another Psychic Energy, I might have a chance... Oh, I think he's going to actually... Okay, he's going to knock out the NK, I think, but he might bring something else up. Yeah, I knew what he was going to do. He's not knocking it out. We'll have to do Guzma. Um, do you point? Who's Pokemon? Oh wow, we drew an energy. Um. Okay. Never mind. We can't build up Psy Strike right away. Can we knock my opponent out with Psy This turn, I don't think we can. I think I just Guzma the Lycanroc. Probably gonna have to be my play. If I had another Psychic Energy in my hand, I could do Side Strike this turn, take out Lycanroc GX. Here's the problem. I don't know if Mimikyu applies for the active or for any Pokemon ever. If your opponent's Pokemon... Well, it doesn't say if your opponent's active. Like, I can copy their Jet Punch. Hmm, maybe I just have to go with Lele here. He's used to Float. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with Lele. He's used to Float Stone already. We'll hit him for 60. I'm fine with that. We'll just build up YouTube. We do 180 to me. I'm actually going to play the belt on Mewtwo now, so just in case he has a Guzma or something, he does knock me out. You hit the Lycanroc for 60, does put it in range of getting KO'd, potentially by Lugia's Arrow Force. Alright, we see Octillery, that's not good. There's a Sycamore. One's going to get rid of two Ultra Balls, okay. Kinda wish I, uh, I wish I had another Guzma right now though, so I could full burst that Buzzwool. Max Luxor whiffing is really good. Hopefully we can draw a Guzma again. This deck does play three Lele's, but we have two prized, which is really unfortunate. We do have four Guzmas, so Guzma, you wanna come to the top of the deck here and I can draw you so I can take out that Buzzwool. That would be just prime quality content. He's gonna play Brooklyn Hill. I don't think we can. we could grab Marshadow, but there's literally no point. There's Baby Buzz. We'll see if this Lycanroc moves from the active spot. Again, he can't do Dangerous Rogue, which is good. He might just retreat and Jet Punch me, which means I'll just knock him out full burst. I'm hoping he does that. Now he's gonna put Choice Band on the Baby Buzz. He's gonna do Pistol Hand for two. And before he does hit a max extra, he does still have Beast Dream. So this baby Buzz could knock me out. Oh, he's gonna knock out my Malamar, it looks like. No, he's gonna bring out Mewtwo. He's gonna retreat in a Buzzle GX, okay. Nice. I'm actually fine with this because. Just because we have so much. And we drew Guzma. Wow, look at that. I actually predicted it. Alright, we're going to have to attach to knock him out here, which is fine. Um, 
but we can just full burst him and it will knock him out. We're going to do 260 damage. Now, Mewtwo could potentially get knocked out by Lycanroc GX. Or, no, okay, never mind. I think we're in the clear. He doesn't have access to Buzzwool's extra damage. And even Super Absorption knocks out this Buzzwool. There's a Lele. He's probably going to end me to two, but we did just get a Lele off the prizes. So that's all good. Like, I think we're okay. We have a Lele on the bench, undamaged. Uh, we, have, we have a Mimikyu to come in whenever we need it. I don't know how my opponent's winning this. He's going to... I mean, he's doing... What about damage? He's doing... He's doing 100 damage, but I'm still going to survive. We drew an N and a Bridget, which is pretty nice. I kind of just want a Bridget here, but I might as well just burn the N. Just so we can get a new hand. Got another belt, that's fine. And we can just super absorb him because it does 70 damage. Which KOs him. Someone's calling me, but I ain't answering. And uh, we can heal this. The he I don't think the heal matters too much, but you never know. You never know. The heal may come in handy. Because we actually now have 110 HP left. We got Lele off the prizes, which is awesome. My opponent's going to end me to win again. Okay. I mean, I don't think my opponent can win. If we get one Psych Energy, oh wow. That'll, that'll be, we can just win with Psy Strike. My opponent's going to put Choice Bait on the Lele. They're going to do Abyssal Hand here for two. They're going to need Max Lixir and Floatstone, and I doubt they hit that off Abyssal Hand. So, they're definitely not doing anything. And my post is going to pass. All we need to do is get a Psychic Energy. Or, not a Psychic. We just need a single Psychic we win. I'm going to put the Marsh Hour down just to increase the odds of drawing into an energy here. Just need a Psychic, and we win. And there we go. And that is an indeed game. We can just do Psy Strike and win the game here. Shiny Lou Yam Almar taking game number one against a... Buzzrock deck, arguably one of your better matchups, and we were able to pull off a win. My opponent was trying to pick off the Malamars, which is kind of smart, you know, you don't want the Malamars to be in play to help the energy accelerate, but we were able to come out on top. Mewtwo was MVP, and so was Lele. We used Shiny Lugia, though, which is good, so see you guys in just a minute with game numero. Alright guys, go find another game with our Lugia Malamar deck. Yes, I have played another game in between. It was against a Sylveon deck, and it didn't end very well for my sanity, so we're not going to include that game. Looks like we're up against another Buzzwool deck, which is nice to see. I'm going to go Tails on the coin flip. And yeah, nice. So if we are against Buzzwool, again, this is obviously probably our best matchup. So we'll see if we can conquer Buzzwool today. Okay, we got Mimikyu, Inkay. Okay, we're probably going to start with Mimikyu. It might get KO'd by Buzzwool, but it's probably the best starter here for Cannon Fodder. I always could. I could just belt it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it's a Buzzwool deck. You never know. Could be Zygarde. Nope, it's a Buzzwool. Uh, probably just do Cynthia. I could have Malamar, but, or Bridget, but I want to get some energy with some Pokemon. Oh, is that a hand? Um, that's... Ooh. That gave me a very bad hand. Uh-oh. That's not good. We'll see if, we'll see if Mimikyu, if Mimikyu gets knocked out, maybe I should have played the belt. I didn't want to play it, though. I was going to save it. But, yeah, if Mimikyu gets knocked out, guys. This ain't good. I do have Filt. Oh, he's actually going to lose with me. We might just take out NK. That's still kind of bad because we need our NKs. No, he doesn't have to do it. Just a jet punch. Uh, if we can draw a float, that would be great. Oh, uh, Lele. That's, that's good. DC the active. I guess we'll do this. Yeah, DC the active. Retreat it. Okay. So, go in the active. We will. Put a DC on. A bit of a waste of a DC, though, not gonna lie, but it's fine. We'll stick them more. Let's actually check the deck. We have one NK prize. We have our Malamars, though. We have both our Mewtwo's. We got both Field Blowers. We got one Mysterious Treasure prize. We got our Belts. Looks like they want a second prize. And oh, we have two Field Blowers. Floats prize. Two Float Stones prize. That's gonna be interesting. So I'm glad I'm doing this now while I still can. So treat. And we'll Sycamore get some energy in the discard. Hopefully we find our other Malamar. Okay, you got him. Do this. I could full burst him. For 60. But I'd rather copy Jet Punch. You never know. I wish there was another thing on the bench, though. That'd be great. Also, wish we had somewhere else to put this... 
energy. We could see another Guzma potentially knock me out. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to hold the Psychic Recharge. I don't really want to build up Lele right now. So we'll Copycat, Jet Punch him, hit him for 60, which is good because we can set up a full Burst KO. And hit that Rimmer Nade. If he doesn't knock out Mimikyu this turn, we Copycat again and knock him out. No, oh, he is going to knock me out, but that's fine. Two strong energies is fine, and just a Jet Punch. We can knock him out Lugia this turn with Urgent Wing, it looks like. Which is pretty slow. You do got to watch out, this Malamar can get KO. So we'll play the float on the Malamar. We'll do Bridget, because why not? We'll grab Inkay, Mewtwo, and Lugia. And we will be able to KO him here with Urgent Wing. Which, we could knock him out full burst, I guess. But I'd rather knock him out with Lugia, because if he goes Baby Buzzle, I'd rather Lugia take damage than Mewtwo. We'll see. He will need a float or something. He hasn't shown a supporter yet, so... He could just be straight in the active. Though I do wish I did have access to a... Funny Fear Belt right now, but it's fine. We'll knock him out with Lugia, which is all intents and purposes. We'll take our prize. Do a two float prize. No, we do get another NK and a Lele, which is good just in case he jet punches his Malamar. There's a Buzzwell GX once again. But does he have the float to retreat and knock me out? I doubt it. He would also need B strength. But again, he hasn't shown a supporter yet. Oh, looks like he got there. We gotta get rid of a Max Elixir though to do this. This is. Oh, he's not even grabbing. He's grabbing an artillery and not a Tapu Lele. So it looks like he's just going for Abyssal Hand. He's gonna see what he's gonna have with this Abyssal Hand see if he's able to take down Lugia's. He might be able to. He could always knuckle impact me. If he does that, we do have Mewtwo. He did find the float. Okay, did he find the beast string? He does. Okay, does he take down my boy Lugia? I'm fine with that. Lugia did his job, sort of. It's good against Baby Buzz, but Mewtwo comes in and finishes him off with full burst. Well, it might actually have the side strike, which I'm fine with. I'd rather save for Lycanroc. I haven't seen a rock come down. Alright, looks like he will take a knockout here. Will he do Absorption? No, he's actually going to do Knuckle Impact, so it looks like he really values Lycanroc here, but he hasn't shown a Rock Up yet, so it's all good. So we do lose our Lugia, but that's fine. Lugia did his part. Ultra Ball, probably just get rid of Lele and NK at this point in time. Grab the other Malamar. And then we have Triple Malamar in play, which is amazing. I might just Side Strike him in all honesty. We'll do Field Blower just so he doesn't have that access to free retreat next turn. Attach. I'm just gonna do Sycamore. We have triple Malamar. Um, there's a Fighting Fairy Belt. There's no Lugia, which is good. We could do Stretcher. Nah, we'll save it. We'll belt the Mewtwo. Just in case. And we will just load up Mewtwo. We will side strike him here. I'm gonna do side strike instead of full burst. Might regret it, might not. Might actually just put even more energy on it. To, I don't know. Actually it's fine. I think we'll just do this. We'll Malamar again, and we can start to build up this Lugia we got back. And yeah, we will side strike knock out this puzzle. I mean, I could have full burst him, I guess. Whatever, we'll side strike him. I don't think it matters at this point, to be honest with you. We have Guzma, so if he benches like a Rockruff, if he benches a another puzzle, we will just win the game with that. So it should be over pretty quickly. We are going to see Cynthia. My opponent will not end me, so this tells me if he puts a two prize attacker on the bench, like Buzzwool, we win the game. You see another artillery hit the board, we see baby Buzzwool come down. We see Dynasty Prism Star, we see Rockruff. Brooklyn, holy cow. Alright, please Brooklyn Hill for Buzzwool GX, that would be amazing. Hopefully he does it. Might, no, okay, he doesn't. I was gonna say, he might play around it because he knows that if he does, he will probably lose the game. I don't know if I want to knock out the Rockruff or the Buzzwool. I think we have to knock out Rockruff here because it's the bigger threat. He's going to attach and pass, so that means we are in the clear to KO him. So we will Guzma the Rockruff. We'll get rid of that Lycanroc threat. We will attach to Lugia. We'll keep building up Lugia here with Psychic Recharge. I'm actually just going to build up Full Burst too, because why not? Again, I don't think it matters. He can see it. Yeah, he can see it. So we beat Buzzle. Again, Buzzle is probably the best matchup you could ask for with this deck. It's a pretty easy game to win. So we will find another match with our deck, of course. See if we can play against something else this time. Or go 3 for 3 on Buzzwool and get two nice ladder wins would be great.
guys. Sorry about that. I just had to quickly do something. But we're going to find another game with our deck after that puzzle game. See if we play into something a little different. All right. Necrozma Malamar. This is going to be a fun match. Hopefully, we can get another win. I think the... Um... <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that, guys. But I think the vanilla Malamar deck with the normal Necrozma GX might be a bit of a better matchup than the Ultra Necrozma version because Ultra Necrozma does not have an ability. Something to note. We do have copycat. We'd have to put like three energies on it to knock it out. <laughs> Pardon me again. I am so sorry for sneezing, guys. I don't know what's going on. It might be hay fever, but we do start with Tapu Lele GX. We got two in our hand, or one in our hand. We have treasure. We do have Bridget, but honestly, I don't know if I want to do it. Actually, I guess I will. He's going to start with Dawn Winds. All right, so he has that ability. He's going to play float on the Dawn Winds. He's going to put a Hoopa down. And a Lele. Now, Hoopa is something we also can deal with thanks to 130 damage, but he does 130 damage to me, which does a lot of damage. So, this could be a bit of a tough time. We Belt's going to really have to come in our favor here. He does give it two psychics with that sick of one. That is brutal. He didn't even need a Bridget. His hand was just big enough to have three Pokemon to put down. That is just dirty. We might have to burn three Lele's here to be able to do Bridget, which I don't like. Another energy rip. So we'll Lele, we'll see if we need to do Bridget. I mean, it's probably the better play. We don't have another Lele though. We do have Guzma. I'm gonna do this. I don't know. It might not seem like the best idea, but we could still come out of nowhere and knock out that Hoopa potentially. So we'll go double in K Lugia. We'll put the DC on it because I doubt he's playing. I doubt he's playing any copies of Enhanced Hammer, and the next turn we can treasure for Malamar, build up this, put another energy on it from our hand, do Malamar's ability with the treasure, and then Guzma knock out that Hoopa. Let's see if that happens, but then he could Moons Eclipse me, so there's a few things we have to watch out for here. We have a supporter we could start going off to with Mewtwo, and then we could side strike around Moons Eclipse. It's going to be the plan here. Two more energies. My opponent is getting a lot of energies here. We'll see if he has his own Guzma knockout. That would be really unfortunate. That would be really bad if he Guzma knocks out my Lugia. It would mess it up, mess up the plans completely. And he has enough HP to, to survive a Psy Strike with two energies, so that would be pretty bad. He's actually just gonna do Bridget for an alternate Crosma. He doesn't have knockout on my Lugia this turn, which is good. We'll see what he does. He might just do um, whatever. Hoopa's attack is. Let's see what he's building up. So he's gonna build up that alternate Krozma, and he's actually just gonna pass. We drew another Goons Not, not really what I'm looking for. So we can grab Malamar. We desperately are gonna need to start drawing something soon. I mean, I honestly could just hit that alternate Krozma for, for 30. Like, if he's got a lot of energy in the discard. We're probably gonna get knocked out by Portal Strike. And I don't have Belk, so I'm not drawing very well. I think I just take a knockout here. I don't know. I really might I might regret this. I don't know. This might not be the best play, but it's the only prize I can take. Hoopa might be more of a threat than Necrozma, too, so I guess we'll take the knockout. Alright, we'll see what our two prizes are. Or one prize, sorry. Belk. Ah, we don't need you now, buddy. We, might, we can still do Energy Drive next turn. It looks like he's actually just going to knock me out with Ultimate Necrozma. And that beast energy is annoying, because now this just needs to get rid of one side. Amazing. Hopefully we can draw something. Hopefully we can draw like a Sycamore, and then off that we are able to pull off a KO on this alternate Krozma. Wow, we really need we need field blower, we need we need a lot of stuff. This is this is not good. If we don't draw something, guys, we might lose the game. Or we might get to the point where it's gonna be too late to really be able to win the game. So, yeah, if we could draw something, that'd be amazing. He's gonna build up that. He's got a lot of energy in the discard to be able to do that. He's gonna Photon Geyser my loop here. Okay. That's annoying. That beast energy is very frustrating. I'm just gonna bring out a Lele. Probably gonna have to do Guzma this turn. We drew a Sycamore. Nice. Finally. We are gonna need a few things here, though, to pull off a good play. And, yeah, we didn't really get there, unfortunately. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we did not get there. We're not gonna be able to pull off a KO with Mewtwo GX's turn. 
I might just grab Mimikyu. He probably has Guzma though, man, I don't know. This is rough. This is really rough. We did find Field Blower. So that's good, at least we can get rid of two of his flow stones. And we'll pass. No flow kinda sucks. I'd like to do copycat. Photon Geyser him. It's fine though. We'll just see what happens here during the next turn. We'll have to see. Again, my, we did give her two field, or floats, and I doubt he plays four. He might only play three. He does Cynthia, so there is no Guzma this turn, so that is another good sign. Lele might live the turn. If we can get like a turn of Psy Strike, that'd be good. I might have to Psy Strike this thing though. Because that this thing is. Don Wings is going to knock out my Mewtwo. Oh, he's gonna float off that, bro. Are you serious? Are you serious? I might just have to copycat the alternate Cosmos attack here, but I'm gonna need to find a float stone off of this Cynthia to be able to pull that off. Uh, that float stone is so bad. Not good at all. We're gonna lose our Tapu Lele here, but we might be able to knock out this alternate Cosmos in return. So see if we're able to pull off a nice, cool play with Mimikyu. I mean, uh, not good. So yeah, he'll knock out my Lele. Rip Tapu Lele, you had a good life. Cut short by uh, Ultimate Crossman. We'll bring out the Malamar. What else? Did you Mewtwo? Okay, good. Not really. I mean, we could potentially attack with it. I'd probably have to attach the energy now. But I'd rather hold it and oh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done it. I don't know, guys. It's not looking good at this point. Well, Cynthia, will we find our float? We do. Okay, here we get another Malamar, too, which is pretty exciting. So we are going to be able to take him out here with Mimikyu. I mean, I don't think we need that much energy. <laughs> I lost count time, though. I could also maybe build up Lele here. I think I'm going to do that. I have a feeling he's just going to Guzma. You never know, though. And yeah, we can copycat him, and that will indeed KO him, and we just need to get rid of Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. So goodbye, Alternate Crossmine. We'll take our prizes. We got Psychic Energy, and it's and, and pretty big. And we'll see what my opponent does. He can't do Moon's Eclipse, which is good. But he might have Guzma on my Mewtwo. Gonna put a choice band on. Rip, he has choice band in his list too. Shoot. At least we got to use Mimikyu. That's pretty cool. He's actually gonna end me to three. I've played not that many supporters though. I've only played two draw supporters. So hopefully we can get something off this end of three. Nope. Okay, rip. B string two. Oh my god, this guy's got everything. Oh my goodness. He's got everything. I could top deck a stretcher and then potentially re knock him out with Malamar. I don't know, we, hopefully we can draw into something here. Oh my god, how much energy is this thing? Okay. We need to knock out this thing this turn. Can we do it? I don't know, I don't think we can do enough damage. Is that... If we, if we had a DC in our hand, we might be able to KO him. I don't think we'd be able to win this, guys. I don't think we're able to win this. I think my best plan of action is to do this. Really wish I had energy right now. Or like a DC. If we had a DC, we could... I think we could knock him out. We're going to be short on the knockout here. It's going to take the loss. It's going to take the loss, but yeah. Oh, yeah, we just need to go. We need one more energy to knock him out. Oh my gosh, that is brutal. This is so dumb. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm just going to end off the video on that dour note, but we tried, we showed off the deck pretty well, we beat two Buzzle matchups, we lost an alternate Cosmo deck, which is very annoying, we tried our best, we showed off Mimikyu though, which is cool, so we had some fun with the deck, I think, the deck is pretty cool, it's a cool way to play Malamar, but I do really think this deck needs a Dawn Wings, I think this deck needs Dawn Wings, man, this deck needs Dawn Wings, if I were to change anything about the deck, I honestly would probably... I don't know, maybe take out one Lele. I don't think we need three, to be honest with you. I think I think I would do this and then add, like, one Dawn Wings to the deck. I would do that, because this deck really needs Dawn Wings. Like, without Dawn Wings, guys, 
it really sucks. So I think we could add a Dawn Wings in here, but this is how I would change the deck. This is what my version of the deck would be, but the deck is pretty fun to play. Mewtwo GX is pretty clutch. You know, Lugia does his own thing. We did our best. We didn't show off Marshadow, but we didn't play into the work. But yeah, that's um, it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Helen Road to 3,000 subscribers. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and help me hit 3K subs. We're getting very close to 2,900 subs and then from there, 3K. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in another PCGO video. Peace out and have a good day.